Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Aftermath. It is all out fighting in the locker room. Total chaos against the Kindred. Q and Mr. Psycho, Kevin Chaos, and Christian Sane. They just fought off somewhere else. They're set to battle later on tonight. We got three, the three WAW Vixens squared off, smacking each other in the face, punching each other. Oh, Star just hit Katie Doobie. Mr. Psycho gets squirted with some sort of cleaning solution. It is all out, rolling downstairs. Shatter's music is hit upstairs, and we take it back upstairs to our ringside camera, as it is now time for Shatso Banigan to do battle with the sky. Last week when Shatso Banigan was trying to keep Sage in some sort of control, the sky came by and said, hey, Shat, how about I be on the happy hour this week? And Shatter says, well, what are we gonna talk about? The sky said, well, we can talk about Lord of the Ring, how I had the most eliminations, how I was the Iron Man, and we can also talk about the devastating sky flow that I've given to you. Shatter just asks, what sky flow? And just then, he was sky flowed onto the locker room floor by that man right there, the sky. Here he comes to a chorus of boos from the fans. The man that ended the career of Paul Clement a few weeks back in the first ever top rope turbulence match looks to head into legacy to right what he thinks are wrongs by winning the Lumberyard match and heading to annihilation to fight the WAW champion, whomever that may be, be it Todd Sopel, freaking Flax, or if somebody happens to win the title on the road to annihilation, you never know, because anything can happen at any time in a WAW ring. And here we go, lock up in the center of the ring, goes the sky and Shatso Banigan. Shats back in the sky, right into the corner. Here comes the sky, trying for a clothesline. He gets caught by Shatter. Looked like Shatter was gonna try for a backslide. The sky rolls through into a sunset flip. We got a cover. Modified sunset flip there. He didn't flip over the back of Shatter, but he rolled through and got it into the same position. What a pinning predicament there by the sky very early in this contest. The sky trying to go after Shatter. And he gets caught. This guy now sent off the ropes. Bounces off hard in the turnbuckle. Here comes Shatter, hammering away. Swing it up and he hits with the other. Here comes Shatter, charging with a clothesline. And a bulldog onto the sky. What a bulldog there by Shatter. We got a cover and we only get two. Near fall there for Shatz O'Banigan. Call him whatever you want. Call him Shatz, call him O'Banigan, call him Shatz O'Banigan, or call him Shatter. Uh, call him Lush, call him Drunk, call him Boozer, whatever. He'll probably answer to one of them. As he gets sent off the ropes with an Irish whip, he gets caught. Could it be a sky flow early? What's this? Oh, what a move there by the sky. Thought he had the arms hooked, looked like he might have been going for the sky flow. But to no avail, drops a leg right across this chest of Shatter. And another one right across the chest. And drops a double axe handle right across the face for the third. Used to see a third leg drop. Now he's modified and added that sit out double axe handle to the forehead. Looks like it sent Shatter into a bit of a daze. Although he was probably in a daze when he got here, so maybe it sobered him up a little bit, who knows? Oh, flying shoulder block there by the sky, takes Shatter down. The sky now heading up into the turnbuckles. What's he gonna go for here? Shatter's up on his feet, and he catches the sky. He's got him, sends him off into the center of the ring, but the sky up on his feet comes charging. He gets caught. Matt Shatter into the top turnbuckle. Punches to the back of the head by Shatter. Now going after the legs of the sky. It could he be going for that no leaf clover. He's got, it looks like he's got it. He's got it hooked on the no leaf clover. Will the sky tap out here? No he won't. Shatter doesn't even have that move fully applied. Looks like he might be a little drunk and forgot his new move already. The sky up on his feet, turns around, goes after Shatter with a boot, he gets caught, could it be a reflector? Shatter catches the leg, reflector no, the sky comes off. Super kick attempt no, Shatter, oh, super kick to the back of the head. Flattens Shatter up. 
The sky now picking Shatter up on his feet. What are we gonna see here? He's going for the sky flow. Could it be a sky flow? No, Shatter reverses out into a, a pinning attempt. Looked like he was gonna go for the backslide, but no. Sky with a ground sunset flip, Shatter's feet in the ropes, but he gets them out and still gets a two count. Another pinning attempt, and the Sky gets a shoulder up. Once again, another two. The Sky going after Shatter. Takes that arm over, and he brings him into a pin, and Shatter kicks out before the referee can get far. We get a two. Here we go with the roll up, but here's Major Morpheus Baretzi. Breaks the hand off. The Sky thought he was gonna have a sure victory there, but Major Morpheus Morenzi here at ringside. And earlier tonight, the Sky was the reason that Morenzi lost his battle. Shatter with a roll up. We gotta count and three. Shatter gets the victory over the Sky here tonight. Thanks to an assist of sorts from Major Morpheus Morenzi, who didn't really get involved in the match whatsoever. He stopped the Skies cheating on that pinfall, and while the Sky was trying to provoke a fight with Major Morpheus Morenzi, he got rolled up for the pin by Shatter. As Major Morpheus Morenzi waving bye-bye to the Sky, giving him his receipt for earlier on tonight, where the Sky assisted Sage in his victory over Major Morpheus Morenzi. Boot to the midsection of the referee. Referee didn't do anything but do his job. He's caught sky flow by the sky onto the masked referee. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next is scheduled to be Kevin Chaos and Christian Sane next on Aftermath.